Craft here with the Facebook community page, Bolorama. If you haven't checked it out, I strongly recommend you do. We'll put a link down below. But today, I wanted to take just a couple of minutes to talk with you about returns. I've seen a couple of messages come in recently that kind of caught my eye. And some discussions are starting as far as how responsible are we uh, for certain things in regards to returns. So I wanted to talk with you a little bit about some of the things that I know about returns, some of the things that I do as far as consulting with buyers and sellers regarding returns, and I guess a little bit of where your liability ends as a seller on eBay. I talked about the other day, I had a situation with an item where the item was somewhere in around 29 or 30 days in, and the buyer had a uh, an issue with the item. It just stopped working and eBay had encouraged me, very strongly encouraged me to take the item back. And we talked about warranties and stuff to that effect. If you didn't see that, go, go back and watch my other stuff. But I want to talk with you about what happens when an item comes back outside of your return window. Okay. And there's going to be a lot of scenarios that are going to happen where uh, it seems at times there's going to be a debate regarding ethics. And I, I understand that we are very much so an ethic based brand. We're not a religious by any means, but we care about ethics and value and doing good business within the world of eBay, Amazon, Posh, Etsy, Mercari, wherever you're going to go do your business at. One of our patrons had an item that got fired out to a customer. Customer had issues with the item, opens up a return request. Uh, and then as that return request is coming to an end, it goes ahead and closes out. And then what ends up happening within a couple of days of that, poof, the item appears in front of them. The, the person had sent the item back, but they did not use the tracking number or the shipping label that was provided for them, nor did they supply a new tracking number. So those of you who don't know, when somebody opens up a return, eBay considers that what we call day zero. Okay, Day zero does not count as a day towards the return process. And fun fact as well, holidays and weekends also do not count. So if somebody opens up a return on Friday, for instance, they have seven days to get that item back to you. Now, day zero being Friday does not count. Saturday and Sunday also do not count. And this last week we had President's Day, so that Monday didn't count either. So day one is actually Tuesday in this scenario, which means the person has pretty much until Thursday or so of the following week to have the tracking uploaded and scanned in, validated as having been on its way uh, before the item even starts on its journey. Now, what do you do in this situation? Okay. Firstly, I want to say that if a person has not sent their item back to you within the allotted amount of time, you should immediately call in and ask that eBay will close uh, eBay to close out that case. And they will. They'll close it for you. They don't care. You call in, they'll close. Now, if you don't do that, you got to wait a whole nother week. Now, in that week, or however long eBay wants to give them, if they go ahead and get that tracking number validated, guess what? It still counts. So why not stop a return? dead in its tracks if you can. I actually have two that I have to call in on today and they're just going to say, okay, yep, they didn't get it in in time. We'll go ahead and close that out. Now that right there on its own for the uninitiated will save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars per year. And we don't really talk too much about the technical specs as far as what you can do as a reseller to try and combat returns. We have a class that's going to be coming up on that here soon, but that's an important one to know. Now let's say that in this scenario, you've called in, You've had it closed out. You have somebody that doesn't regularly use eBay and the item returns back to you again. Now, ethically, you have quite a few options. Business wise, you have no option. You have zero options. OK, in this situation, for me as a seller, OK, if the item has come back to me and the, ca the case has been, has been closed, now I have both the money and I have the item. OK, you, this is where the problem comes into play. I'm going to keep the item, okay? It is my item to keep. Now, if the seller contacts me, or excuse me, excuse me, if the buyer contacts me and they would like the item back, I will ask them, well, why did you open a return in the first place if the item wasn't good enough? Now, most times when they, when they message, they'll say, hey, did you get the item? I would like my money back. I will never at any point make acknowledge uh, or acknowledgement of the fact that the item is back with me and they can show me that the tracking is there. But again, this is not my problem. And, and I know this sounds really rude and really short, but my job is to sell items on eBay. I will deliver you the exact item that you have requested. 
Okay, if an item comes back, it's not my fault. Okay, if it is my fault, it's going to be USPS's fault because if I've described an item correctly online, that is the item you are going to get. And I don't mean to make a long, uh, a long statement to a, a simple answer, but there's nuance to this. Now that I have now I have it back and it looks the exact same, I realize there's no issue with it. If you want your item back, you're you're not going to get it. Now, if you want your money back, I'm going to tell you to call eBay, okay? Because I am not responsible to refund this item. My job is to sell the item and accept returns uh, when there's a situation. I have fulfilled my end of the deal, okay? You did not get your item in within the allotted time window. You have not fulfilled your obligations as a buyer. I fulfilled my obligations as a seller. My responsibility for this transaction is completed at this time. Now, if you want to do the ethics route, which we talked about before, ethically doing business does not mean giving them your money. Okay. That is not your responsibility to give them your money. You have done nothing wrong in this transaction. You should not have to pay for it. Secondly, if you do give them your money, you are continuing to push the narrative that anyone at any time can you know, request a return, send an item back, just get their money back. And when people get to keep doing this, they start expecting it and it makes it harder for everyone else involved. And you may be sitting there, you'd be like, well, I don't want to risk getting a negative feedback. And, you know, I don't want to risk having something happen to my account. If you have somebody ship an item back, okay, outside of the window. So if they open up the case, they fail to get it into you in time, the case will be, and you call in, you have the case closed out. Guess what? You have won that case when you have called in and had it closed out. So if you won the case, you know what happens? They're ineligible to leave you negative feedback. They simply cannot leave you negative feedback, even if they want to. Now, anyone who's going to argue otherwise, I will ask you, did you call in? Did you win the case? Okay. Did the, did the case expire out? And then eBay ultimately ended up ruling in your favor. If these things did not happen, then yeah, sure. You're still eligible to get negative feedback, but if you're doing things correctly and you understand the terms of services, this is why I'm here. So we can talk about terms of services. You're not going to have to worry about that. Okay. So at this point they message me, Hey, I would like my, uh, I'd like my, uh, my money back. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any further issues, please contact eBay. Here's, here's their contact number. Now, as an ethical seller, I have already gone above and beyond. Okay. I've offered my item for sale. I've shipped it out as promised. I've taken, I, you know, I've, I've allowed this return to happen. I haven't fought it. I haven't tried to get it closed. If it's a valid return, I'll take the valid return. They send the item back, but they didn't send it back within the time window. Responsibility is done. You know what I, do? I tell them? Call eBay. Call eBay. That's all you can do. And you know what eBay will most likely do? They will most likely come out of pocket and offer a refund to the seller. But when this situation happens, it is no different than if I take an item I own, put it inside of a package and mail it to somebody and expect them to give me money for it. That, that's essentially what's happening. A, a buyer has purchased an item and sent it to you and expected you to pay for it. But it's, it's not our job to pay for those items. Okay. And that's what I'm saying. And, and I get, I get it. Some of you are going to sit there and say, well, I just want to do good business. We have done our job as sellers. Do not make the marketplace any harder than it already is to have to deal with and tackle returns. Because I've even heard it before. I've had somebody message me. Oh, I, I bought an item here uh, a couple of months ago that I had to return. And the guy gave me a refund, even though it was three weeks later. I don't care. With all due respect, I don't care. That is not my concern or, and or responsibility. And I'll tell them, call eBay. Okay? Do you have an issue? And eBay almost always will come out of their pocket. Now they cannot do an overturning of the case. Sometimes that'll happen Well, they'll say, you know, eBay has uh, overturned a ruling, but this is not a situation where a buyer is eligible to open an appeal. This is an unappealable situation. They either shipped it out within seven days or they didn't ship it out at all. Okay. And that's the scenario that we're in right now. So at this point, I've all, while I'm on the topic, people have asked me, uh, why are people still able to communicate with me after I have blocked them? If you've recently done a transaction with somebody, or if you've been engaged in communication with somebody regarding an item and you block them, those communication channels generally will remain open until the transaction is either fully completed, which could take seven days, even sometimes as many as 30 days after the item has landed there. Or if you're in communications, 
sometimes it can take a couple of days before it even closes out after that. If you're having problems with a really bad problem buyer, I've, even, I've had to call the police before. I've had to file IC3 investigations with the FBI. I have seen them all, okay? Don't let some, you know, I, I'm just going to say, don't let some jackass online try and bully you around and demand your money. Don't let them demand your money. Don't let them demand your time. Don't let them demand anything of you. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Don't let that happen for you or your brand. Okay. If you need help and you need somebody in your corner and you want help fighting back on difficult situations, seriously, guys, bolarama.com. I am a cl couple of clicks away and I'll go toe to toe with any person that you're having problems with. Guys, I just wanted to touch base on that. Get you some clarity regarding returns. Uh, it was something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. If you have a suggestion of something that you would like my input on, Okay, or if you've seen a news or whatever going on, you want my input, you want my thoughts, leave them down in the comments below. I don't know how often I'm going to be uploading videos. I'm going to aim to get, I don't know, one a day. We'll see how that goes and how long that lasts for. But I'm going to try. This is the new thing I want to do. It seems to be a little bit easier on me because it's a little more flexible with my schedule. We'll figure it out, though, guys. As always, uh, continue to be the best version of you that you can be. And remember, if you don't make that money, someone else will. Have a great day. Mic check, mic check, testing, testing.